Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is the day. <laughs> we are going to go through my entire diamond painting pen collection. I'm a little, I don't wanna say nervous, maybe just like a little anxious, I, I guess, about sharing this. I have shared my pen stash in the past. Uh, it was about a year and a half ago at this point. So my collection has grown. Um, however, I still store everything the same way. These are colored pencil pouches that I get from Amazon. Uh, I just pick pretty cute prints that I like and I store my pens by shop. So uh, most of these ho house two to three different small shops with the pens that I have from each of them. Um, we're going to go through all of that. But before we get too far into this video, I do just wanna say, <sighs> Just reiterate what I've been saying this entire week. I have not been sharing my collections as a way to brag about what I have. It's more so just a way to share with people who have a similar uh, hobby and like to collect things just like I do. Uh, it's just to share what I have. Uh, maybe you will find a new pen shop that you've never heard of. Uh, maybe you'll find a new favorite shop and that would be very cool to be the one to share that with you guys. So what I'm going to do is I am going to break down each case um, by shop. I will show you. Um, I'm not going to necessarily do like who I have the least to the most from. I'm just going to pick a case, pull out whatever shops are in it and share with you what we have in that one. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so first up, I have some pens from Amazon, Diamond Art Club, Enablers Outpost, and Kevin's Creations. So let's start with Amazon. I think like a lot of people, when I first started diamond painting, I went to Amazon <laughs> for kits, pens, other accessories. Uh, they're just very affordable, and you can find a pretty good array of, of items. So I have some of these thin pens. I would say these were like the first ones that I purchased. They were kind of the universal style that was out there. They're quite thin and they're not ones that I gravitate towards anymore, um, but these are still available on Amazon. I will link, I'll link a couple that I can find over there. Uh, just as a reminder, my Amazon links are not affiliate, so it just takes you directly to the item. Um, so yeah, we have these ones here. I think I got one of these in a mystery, which is why I have two of basically the same pen, but uh, they work. If you're starting out, it's a great option. They're very affordable and I do like them. Next up, I have these two here. They started venturing into different shapes that were available. I liked this green one. It has some like ridges around the center there. And then we have this one here. I remember picking this pen up for my first Christmas diamond painting. I liked the red sparkles. And then this one, my boyfriend gave me for Christmas one year. It was in my stocking, which was a nice surprise. Super sparkly. I liked these two and I have used these two somewhat recently because they are more similar to the thicker grips that you can find in some of the small shop turning styles. So I really do like these. And then I have these three. Now this one, now that I'm looking at it, I think I had it stored with my Amazon pens, but I believe this one is from New Craft Day. It just has a bunch of fruit slices and pieces, which I think is super cute. And then I have two Christmas ones, which I got these from Amazon last Christmas. I will try to find these again absolutely love both of these. You can see this one has Santa and some snowflakes and then this one has snowmen, Christmas trees. Super cute. So that is Amazon. Next up I have Diamond Art Club. Now I purchased a bunch of pens from Diamond Art Club when I first found them. There's going to be a lot of rolling things in the background of this video so I apologize. Um, Diamond Art Club was also one of the first places that I had purchased pens from. They still carry diamond painting pens and they have a very good price point. I want to say these are roughly $14.99 on their sites, um, on their site, comma. <laughs> um, I don't know which variations of these that they still have. I haven't purchased a pen from Diamond Art Club in quite a while, but they are a really great option. So I have two of these thinner ones super sparkly 
and then I love this pen. I remember I used this one for Hogwarts and Hedwig, which is a Diamond Art Club painting that I did last year because I thought it reminded me a lot of Hedwig with the coloring. We have just a sparkly light blue. This purple and blue one is really pretty. Translucent one with some swirls. And then we have this pink one. Now these used to be etched with Diamond Art Club. I'm trying to remember if this one was. I don't see it. They used to etch their name into the pens, which was really cool. This one's just a pale pink. We have a lemon lime themed one. And then these sparkles here. Very pretty. So again, Diamond Art Club is another great place um, to check out if you are looking for decently priced diamond painting pens. Next up, we have Enablers Outpost. Enablers Outpost is one of the first small shops that I purchased diamond painting pens from, and I actually purchased these three together. Um, this is way back, like when Enablers Outpost was first starting out, but I love all three of these pens. I still use them. This one is like a really cool brown with like a flash of shimmer in there. This one's really pretty for the fall time. So this is another nice one for the fall, kind of like amber colored. And then this really bright neon green yellow. And then more recently, I purchased these this past uh, Halloween. They were having a sale on pens that they didn't love, so they weren't selling them at full price. But this one has black cats in it, if you can see that. And then this one has jack-o'-lanterns. Okay, last up for this case is Kevin's Creations. Kevin's Creations is on Etsy. Uh, Enablers Outpost has their own website, which I will link down below. Kevin's Creations is on Etsy, another fun small shop haul. I feel like he has very unique uh, blanks and turning styles. I really enjoy uh, my pens from him. So I have this one, which is, this isn't wood, it's like copper glitter. And then this really pretty blue. I just liked the turning. I thought it was unique. It's a little bit thinner, which I don't always love, but this one's actually really comfortable to work with. And then I have this blue one, which is a semi-recent purchase, if I'm remembering correctly. But I don't have very many pens in this type of blue, and I loved the shimmer on it. Again, another fun turning style. I think my favorite pen <laughs> from Kevin's Creations is this tree shaped one. I actually have not used this yet. I forgot to use this this past Christmas, but definitely you will see it Christmas 2023. Love that one. We have a pink and blue. This pen is really unique. So it's a really vibrant like royal blue on this side and then you turn it and it's this I don't even know what you would call that, but I thought that the, the pen was just really unique. And then I have a couple of hybrids. I have this one with the white and then the pink swirls, and then the other side is wood. And then this one, which is a great neutral, it's just clear, and then wood on the other side. You will see as we get further into my collection that hybrids are my favorite <laughs> when it comes to diamond painting pens. I just think that they are so pretty. I was gonna try to move these all into frame, but I don't know if I can do that without ruining everything. Come on, work with me. All right, first case down. <laughs> we have Kevin's Creations, Enablers Outpost, Diamond Art Club, and Amazon. Well, let me grab the next case. Okay, case number two, I have three more small shops to share. We have Patriotic Team, C'est plus beau a tour and Mad Wood Turnings. So let's start with Patriotic Team. Uh, Patriotic Team has their own website. Uh, one of my favorite pen turners. I really enjoy the different styles. They don't limit themselves to like a select number of styles. Uh, Stephanie is the owner, just kind of turns whatever she likes and whatever she thinks will look good on the blank. 
and I have ended up with some absolutely stunning pens from her. So this is my first one. I've been looking for this tip. <laughs> I've been looking for one of these thin Diamond Art Club single placers. Um, this is a blank from Cocoon. In my previous um, pen uh, collection video, <laughs> my mind just blanked. Somebody kept asking why I kept saying this is a cocoon. When I say that, it's the blank maker. So this is a very popular style blank from a company called Cocoon Blanks. So if I say that, that's what that means. Um, but this is my first pen from Stephanie. It's black and red or gray and red, I guess. Um, we have this one here is another blank from Cocoon. Love this one. This is another Cocoon blank. <laughs> in a hybrid form, which I absolutely love. I remember when they released this style, I was like, oh my goodness, really beautiful pen. I think this is also another Cocoon pen. Love this one. This one here, I knew I needed when Stephanie had released, like previewed this one. This is called Laura Lee, which is like one of the only pens that I actually remember what the name is because obviously my name is Laura and my sister's middle name is Lee. So I was like, well, clearly this needs to come home to me. And I just think it's a really pretty pen. This one is absolutely massive, but I love it. <laughs> it is like teal and aqua with some silver flake in there. Gorgeous, gorgeous pen. It's huge, but it's beautiful another is this a diamond art club no this isn't a diamond art i think this is actually a uh, texas tip which unfortunately patriotic team does not make anymore but i really loved their stainless steel single and multi-placers um, but this pen is absolutely gorgeous this one is super special as well. I actually won this pen in a giveaway. Stephanie had created this one to like in memory of pregnancy and infant loss. So it's the light pink and baby blue that is synonymous with that cause, which is very near and dear to my heart. So when I was able to pick a pen that I had won in a giveaway, um, I asked if this would be possible and she was like, absolutely, and sent it my way. So beautiful pen, super special to have in my collection. And we have this one. I think this one was called like Watermelon Jolly Rancher or something. Really pretty. I have not used this pen yet. And then I also have not used, oh wait, this is a Patriotic Team pen as well. I purchased this pen for a particular kit and I ended up not doing this kit last year. Um, so this one's just kind of been hanging out until I get to that kit, but it's absolutely gorgeous with the whites and purples. And then this pen I'm actually using on my current whip, so I'm going to put it back on my drafting table. But this is another Cocoon Blank. I love the colors of this one. So that's Patriotic Team. Next up we have C'est Plus Beau A Tour. I know I'm not saying it correctly, it's fine. <laughs> um, these were obviously very popular. They still are popular. I just haven't purchased from them in a while because I find the process very anxiety inducing because you're like fighting with people for a pen. Uh, so I don't, it's not that I don't want to, I just haven't purchased from them in quite a while. I do love their pens and the ones that I have are absolutely gorgeous. Um, so I will start with this one. I love this pen. I use this quite often. It just seems to match a lot of the kits that I work on, but you can see the like metal honeycomb in there. Really pretty. We have another of those metal honeycomb type style here. And I believe there's also pine cone in this one. This one is unique and quite funky. <laughs> Um, I actually really like it. It kind of was on their site for a bit. Nobody else had purchased it. I was like, you know what? I like that one. So it's blue and that really pretty yellow with some gray, a bunch of shimmer in there. It's just different and I do enjoy it. This particular pen I purchased for <laughs> a certain kit. I used it on Something Sweet, which is a discontinued Mandy Manzano, It's Beauty and the Beast, and it matched perfectly. This is one of their famous pens with the cinnamon in it. Um, really, really pretty. Love this pen. I love yellow and gray together. This kind of comes off more as like black, but it is a gray. Um, 
really pretty though. I have used that one before. Also used this one. I love this one for the shape. The way that the single placer tip is, it's just so comfortable to hold. Just a couple of different shades of pink and then there's like a purple flash in there. Really pretty. And finally, my last pen from them is this kind of cotton candy-esque one. Really pretty. I used this last summer on a kit and it matched perfectly. So that is C'est Plus Beau Auteur. And then finally, we have Mad Wood Turnings. Now, <clears throat> the pens that I have from Mad Wood are single-sided, which I don't use a single placer very often. <laughs> I much more frequently use a multi-placer and then just place, you know, singly with a multi-placer. However, I do enjoy these and you will see that I have replaced the tips on almost all of them with stainless steel straighteners from Everlasting Tips. So I have not done this one. I don't know. I think I have another one in my stash. I must have just overlooked this one. I love this. It's so beautiful. So these are all hybrids. So wood and then really pretty gold leaf in there. And you'll see these are all Everlasting Tip straighteners that I have in there. Different sizes. This is an orange one. We have green, pink, purple, this clear sparkly one. I love how it looks by the wood. See all that sparkle in there. Yellow, obviously, we know I love yellow. And you can see I have different size uh, straighteners on all of them. We have a silver leaf. And then I do actually have one double-sided pen. This is all wood. This is so lightweight. It's so comfortable to hold. I think this is the only all wooden pen that I have and I absolutely love it. So if you're somebody who struggles with your hands, my hands fall asleep a lot while I diamond paint and just having this option, so lightweight and very comfortable. So that is Madwood Turning, Say Plus Beau A Tour, and Patriotic Team. There's our little snapshot. Maybe I can try to use that as a thumbnail. <laughs> okay, let me grab the third case. Okay, case three. We have two shops to talk about here. Uh, one of my shops that I have the largest collection from is O'Brien Custom Turnings. They're also on Facebook as handmade diamond painting pens and more. These are, this was one of the first shops that I found and they actually worked out for me really well at that time because they had layaway plans. Um, I thoroughly enjoy their pens. So we'll talk about them. And then I also have butterfly effect wares over here. So let's start with O'Brien. Now you will see a lot of blanks from Cocoon, uh, which again is a blank maker that's pretty popular in the community. The thing that I really liked about handmade diamond painting pens Facebook group is they had a lot of turners in there. So if the turners were running a sale, you could claim your blank and then O'Brien would like buy the blank and then bill you for the pen and the cost of the blank, if that makes sense. I don't use Facebook anymore, so I don't work through their Facebook page, um, but they do have an Etsy shop and I have purchased from them through there as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at these. I have a lot. <laughs> So here is a Cocoon Blank. I used this one on, oh gosh, what was the name of that painting? It's Aladdin and Jasmine. It's a Mandy Manzano that's been discontinued. Anyway, the color palette was perfect for that kit. I have this pink one, really pretty. My favorite shape from this shop is the Beaver Tail, which is this one, um, but I do have a couple other uh, sheeps thrown in there that you will see. I love this one as well. It's so weird that I remember kits that I use certain pens with. I use this one on Best Buddies from Distracted by Diamonds. Really pretty green and gray. We have a three color one. I love this neon one. I still have not used this one. I need to find a kit um, that this will match because it's so fun and I have neon green trays that are this color that would just be such a fun combo. We have pink, yellow, and orange. Yellow, orange, and teal. 
I love this light blue and yellow one. This is also a super fun kit. I have used kid kit. No, super fun color pen. What? Okay. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, orange and hot pink. These three here are thermal, so they actually change colors as you hold on to them. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it to change. Kind of. This purple turns to pink. You guys can see that. I think it's more noticeable on the red. It turns to yellow. So as you're holding your pen and diamond painting, it changes color. So cool. I don't remember. Does this one change? Yeah, this one changes to blue. Can you guys see that? So cool. Unique. Here are the pens themselves. Really pretty. This pen is gorgeous. It's a pine cone with like purple glitter galore. I won this pen from them. I think it was my birthday month and they do like a drawing if it's your birthday month and I won this really neat pen. I love this wooden one. Oh, so I do have another wooden. I said before I only had one wood pen. This is all wood and again, super lightweight and very comfortable. We have this green with all that fun glitter. I remember this is a pen that I was kind of disappointed in. I just didn't love the way that it turned out, not because of them, just because sometimes it's hard when you buy a blank, you never really know what it's gonna look like once they start turning, um, but it's still cool. I just thought the colors were different when I purchased the blank. We have this purple glitter, really fun. And we have this one. I used to do their mystery month like partner swaps. So you would buy a pen and then your partner would pick it. You could give them clues and vice versa. And someone picked this one out for me, which was really fun. Lots of glitter. This particular pen I think is my favorite in my entire collection, which is really saying something. It may, I mean, it's definitely like top five because it's absolutely gorgeous. It is this one. This is a blank by Rapture Resins. It's just so beautiful. And then I have a couple of these glitter ones. These are again by Rapture Resins. So we have a rose gold and I think this one's called Sunflower, but I love the yellow. Pretty. And then I have these three, which are just straight up like metallic goodness. I like these. I find metallics to be a really good neutral. If I don't have the perfect type of pen uh, to match a colorway or something, I feel like you can always match a metallic. So I have rose gold, gold, and silver. Really love those. This pen right here is my first one that I got from this shop. I remember being obsessed. It's still beautiful. The yellow, orange, red, really pretty. And then the last two that I have here from them are hybrids. These are both from Flower Girl. And we have a green and like a magenta type version. I used this one recently on a kit. Have not used the pink one yet. So that is O'Brien Custom Turning. Next up, I have Butterfly Effect Wares. Now, I found Butterfly Effect Wares quite early on in their turning journey. So a lot of my earlier pens are all the same shape. Um, they used to specialize in one, maybe two shapes. They like a three bump and I think sometimes a four bump depending on the type of blank. So a lot of them are from those early days, but I do have a few from their newer type of style. So let's take a look at the older ones first. We have these two. This one is a go-to summer pen for me. It just looks like the ocean. You got the beach and then the ocean. I just, I love this pen. Then we have this one, which is just some fun colors that I really enjoyed. We have this one, some pinks and peaches. I love this one. Love the colorway, super, super sparkly. I think this one was kind of loosely based on like the Little Mermaid, which I remember I used this on a Little Mermaid kit and it matched perfectly. We have this like pastel spring vibes one. Love this one. You see a lot of yellow <laughs> in my collection. 
but sparkly yellow with a couple different shades of blue. This one is really fun as well, kind of like pink lemonade. And then we're moving into like their more newer style of pens. I have two hybrids from them. I absolutely adore both of them. This one again gives me like summer vibes with the colorway, love hybrids, and then we have this one. Another favorite in my collection for sure, top five, is this rose gold one. So beautiful. This is in their really large size. I only have two pens in this size, but it's fun. Nice to have a variation. This is their ever popular, I think the, the pen that really took off for them is this black prismatic pearl. This is the large size again, really beautiful. We have this one, which is their Tropical Sunset pen, I believe. I used this on, what was that kit called? Tropical something from Dreamer Designs last summer and I loved it. We have this one. Love, love, love this colorway. I love the sparkle that they get and their pens are always just so shiny. We have this one here, which was like their Midwestern pen or something like that with the teals and the copper. And then my most recent purchase from them is this mini, which I think was like, what was the name of this? I can't remember, but it's a black base with all these multicolor flakes in it. Pretty. All right, so that is, um, oh my gosh, Butterfly Effect Wears and uh, O'Brien Custom Turning. So that is case number three. We're halfway through. Let me go grab case number four. Okay, case four, we have a few shops to talk about. We have Axe and Iron, uh, Mountain Inspiration, 802 Diamond Painting Pens by Lisa, Lazy River Wood, Wood Turning, and then a shop that I cannot find anymore, but I do want to share these two, and I'll do a little bit of digging um, when I am getting ready to post this video. Um, I cannot find the name of this shop, and it's I've had them for a really, really long time, so I might just have to go through my last pen collection video and see if I can find it. Um, but these are from an Etsy shop where you can actually get them personalized. So I have a Sagittarius. Obviously I am a Sagittarius. I purchased this to use on the Sagittarius kit from Josephine Wall, which I have not done yet because it's very big. And then this one, you can choose like different animals. Obviously I picked cats and then I had my name put on it. So I'll do a little bit of digging and I'll link this shop down in the description if I can find them again. I'm really sorry I can't remember the name, but I will do a little bit of investigation work to see if I can find uh, where those are from. Okay, let's talk about the rest of these shops. So first up, we'll talk about Axe and Iron. This is a shop on Etsy. They are still open. Um, I have not purchased from them in a while, but as you can tell, I went ham. And I did because they offer this really great size diamond painting pen. These are not your standard size. Um, I would say that they're, let's see, do I have a measuring tape? I would say that these are, without the tips, just under four inches, or just over, sorry, just over four inches. From tip to tip, they're five and a half. Um, so these are really nice if you are like me and you have small hands. Also, if your hands bother you, if you have arthritis or something like that, um, these are really nice. Definitely check them out. They're still about the same price as when I used to purchase them. I think they're $29 roughly dollars, depending on um, the size that you get. But I have such a fun collection. I definitely need to make it a point to use these more often. They're just so beautiful. I love this one. Opening this this um, case has been like, why don't I use these more? Uh, another favorite in my collection is this one. These actually have everlasting tips in a single and a multi. This is definitely a top five favorite as well. We have these two. Really pretty green. This pink and purple one. Love this one. Really fun, like neutral type colors. We have a teal and white. 
This one's fun for like beachy themed kits. And then we have some more teal with this really pretty copper. Okay, impromptu break there. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's Sunday and Steven got called into work. Yikes. Couldn't be me. <laughs> so we have, I think I left off on this one. Really pretty pastel type colors. This is a pine cone pen. gonna pull a few of these up at a time we have these three pretty we have a red and black and then this kind of funky one I don't really know how to describe this pattern but it's really unique I like it quite a bit I love that blue color um, now I'm losing track of where I left off. <laughs> we have this blue and white, and then this one here is really neat. And then I have three that are a little bit different. So this one is a funky type of shape, kind of looks like a bow tie. And then these two are closer to full size pens. So we have a yellow pine cone, and then a perfect for Halloween type one with the sparkly black and orange. So that is Accent Iron. Next up I have Mountain Inspirations. They used to be Brewers Custom Turnings, I think. Um, that's when I purchased these from them. I haven't purchased any since they've become Mountain Inspirations, but I will link their Etsy shop. But I have these three, which are absolutely stunning. So we have this, I don't know, like, like bubblegum type colors. No, come back. With the Chula Wood. This one is an absolute favorite. This is like a first pick for landscape type nature paintings. This one is always in the running just because of the colors. And you can see there's some pine cone in there. Love this pen. I think it's another top five for sure. And then we have another um, pine cone one. It's like purple and pink really really pretty next up i have some pens from 802 diamond painting pens by lisa to be completely honest with you guys i don't know if this shop is still open not because i don't love the pens that i have because i do but i'm not on facebook anymore and that is where she sells um you purchase through her facebook group and you paypal her the the cost um so i don't shop through this site anymore or this shop anymore but I absolutely love the pens that I have. Um, I have a few more cocoons from this um, turner. You can see them here. We have this like watermelon one, pink and orange, and then we have these blue blue ones here. This is another favorite for beach kits. I just love the colorway. So that's those. And then I have some non-cocoon blank ones. We have this really pretty neon pink and yellow. This one is another favorite. I used this one recently on a kit. It's like a pink abalone type pen. This one has gold foil with like silver and copper coloring. Really pretty everlasting tips on this one. You can always kind of tell which pens I really enjoy because they tend to get everlasting tips in them. And then this is the last one from Lisa. Really pretty. I like to use this one in the winter because of the blues and the whites. Pretty silver sparkles in there. Okay, and next up, final shop for this particular case is Lazy River Wood Turning. Uh, if you are familiar with Lazy River, they are very hard to get pens from, so I treasure the ones that I do have. Um, these two that are here, I actually won in a um, event giveaway. So these ones have dog bone glitter and cat glitter, if you can see that. So I won these last year as part of the Claws and Paws event. And then these four, I fought my way to have. Um, the Lazy River Drops can be very cutthroat. Uh, so I have four pens and I'm very happy with the four pens that I have because 
it was stressful to get them. So we have this really beautiful sparkly pink and yellow. This one kind of reminds me of like pink lemonade. My favorite of my Lazy River pens is this beautiful hybrid. It's like cotton candy with the light wood. And then these are both from a blank maker that is called Diamond Cast. So there is a diamond dust in the resin uh, for both of these. Really beautiful pens. Okay, that is the end of case four. Let me pack these up and I will be right back. Okay, case five, we have a few shops to talk about here. Now, these are not all the pens from that particular case, but there is a shop there that I do not give any airtime to. <laughs> I was royally screwed over by that particular pen shop and uh, I would rather not share the pens and highlight that, but I do have a few pens, more than a few pens that I'm not showing you um, just because I don't wanna give like I said, any airtime. Uh, I will link my last pen shop. The pens are featured in that video. So if you wanna see what's missing out of this particular collection video, then you can check out that one. Um, that's a story for another time. And I'm honestly just not ready to talk about it. So we're gonna talk about these pens. We have Peachy Keen, Miscreations by Danny, Norse Alchemist, and Minnesota Dry Goods. So let's start with Peachy Keen. I absolutely adore Peachy Keen. The owners are so nice. Um, I have been lucky enough to amass a bit of a collection. Lexi, I think, is overtaking me at this point, but uh, I love the pens. They are so hard to get now, which I love for the owners. Their business is booming, and I think that's amazing. Um, I have shared these on my channel before, but I do love them, so here we go. We have this one, which is now my, like, designated winter pen. It's just perfect with the light blue and the white, and then you got the snowflake glitters in there. Beautiful. I have another snowflake pen from them, which is this red one. Uh, I love it. It's perfect to kind of bridge that gap between Christmas and winter. I have this beautiful hybrid. Stay. Beautiful mint green. This one is super fun. You'll see it's another cocoon blank if you've been following along. Love the colors on this one. Different type of turning style. It's a little bit thinner than I normally go for, but I loved the pen so much. We have this seashell pen, which I cannot wait to use this summer. It's so pretty. Look at that, just beautiful. This is my St. Patrick's Day pen. It was something named like Patty's Charm or something like that, but it's beautiful. I love the green glitter. And then this one is so special, this particular pen. This was gifted to me by Brie from Painting with Pitties. And it is, can you see the sea turtles in there? Got little sea turtles and little bubbles. So beautiful. You'll definitely be seeing this one this summer as well. Love them. Okay, next up we have Miss Creations by Danny. These are clay pens. And I recently found this shop. I've seen them around on Etsy, but I hadn't purchased them or tried them out for myself. But I love them. I'm so glad I decided to. So we have this little Easter Bunny one. We have a sunflower with a little ladybug. And then this one is seashells, which again, you will definitely be seeing this summer. Love it. These are actually super, super comfortable. They are pink pens with polymer clay wrapped around them. Um, super comfortable to work with, especially if you prefer like a shorter style. These are really fun. All right, I have three pens from Norse Alchemist. Uh, I purchased these last year. I absolutely adore them. I have been trying not to purchase as many pens lately because as you guys can now see, I have a very extensive collection, but Norse Alchemist is definitely on the top of my list for when I'm ready to start purchasing again. Um, I absolutely love this pen. So it's red with some green. I think this red is wood. It's kind of hard to tell. I'm not quite sure, but, and then we have Silver Flake. This one is beautiful. I used this for one of my Christmas kits last year. I also love this blue and green with the pine cones. 
And another favorite in my collection is this black and rose gold. I even put rose gold tips on it. I would say this is probably a top five. How many top fives have I given you? I feel like I'm over five at this point. <laughs> And then a new shop is Minnesota Dry Goods. And I actually wanted to just pop in a little, not rant, what, what's the word? A little bit of information for you guys about this shop. So I shared this in a recent small shop haul. Here are the pens. And I gave you guys a bit of a close up about the turning and there were just some sanding marks. I actually heard from the owner of Minnesota Dry Goods. His name is Jordan. He messaged me and said that uh, one of his customers directed him to my video and he has actually sent me a shipping label to send this pen back to him to take a look. He wasn't happy with what he saw and he was upset with himself that it had gotten through like his quality control. Uh, I told him it wasn't necessary, but obviously he is protecting his business and his name. So I will be sending this one back to him. Um, he just wants to take a look a little bit closer at the sanding and see if there's anything he can do to fix that. So that right there just skyrocketed this shop in, to me in terms of like customer service. Um, really impressed with that. So we'll be sending this one back and I will give you guys an update um, when this makes its way back to me. I wanted to film this video. <laughs> it's Sunday, so I'm going to print the shipping label and drop this off to the mail um, to the post office tomorrow. Um, but I will keep you guys updated. Um, but very, very impressed with that. I don't have a sit down video coming with you guys very soon. So I wanted to pop that in here um, just so uh, if you commented talking about the uh, sanding marks and stuff just so that we're all on the same page and know that the owner I don't want to say he wants to right his wrongs because it wasn't a wrong in my book I wasn't like upset about it it was just something that I wanted to share with all of you um, but clearly the owner cares about his product so we love to see that in the small shop commu community so again I will keep you guys updated on this when it gets back to me all right that is it for Case number five, let me put these away and we will go to our final case, which I believe is all one shop. Okay, case number six, I'm actually going to do a little bit differently because this is chock full of pens. They're all from the same shop, so I kind of don't wanna pull them out, I apologize. I hope that doesn't annoy you guys too much, but we're going to be talking about Jim's Handmade Pen Shop. Now, I have a lot of pens from this particular pen shop and I will tell you why. Um, they are quite affordable. They have a huge selection of blanks that are readily available um, from multiple different blank makers. Some of the most popular, you have Flower Girl, you have Cocoon, uh, any of those really big named blank makers they have. And like I said, affordable, it's not like drop style. It's just what he has in his shop, he has in his shop. Uh, Jim's Handmade Pen Shop was one of the only pen shops I purchased from for a while because the turnaround was a little bit longer, but the variety of blanks was just, it was there for me. If I knew I was looking for a rainbow pen for a rainbow kit that I was working on, I knew that Jim would have a rainbow blank. <laughs> So if I was looking for something specific, I pretty much automatically went to Jim's Handmade Pen Shop. I have not purchased from Jim's in a while, not because I had any issues with the shop or the owner. He was actually quite helpful to me on multiple occasions. Um, but I got a little tired of the same shape. Now, Jim, from the last time I purchased, he had three styles available, a two, three, and a four bump, which is great. It's very basic but his pens always came out great, so I didn't care. I just wanted a little bit more variety in my collection. So I started looking out at other turners who had more unique shapes. Now that's not to say that I won't purchase from Jim's again. Uh, I think the last time I purchased was la around last Christmas. I was looking for a certain type of pen, um, but I would, I would definitely direct you to his shop if you are looking for something specific. Um, and if you're looking for an aff affordable pen, uh, some of his, his hand turned pens are anywhere from 25 to 29 dollars and then you go up depending on the type of blank and whatever 
Um, so if you're looking for something a bit more budget friendly, I would definitely check out Jim's shop. And if you're looking for a large variety where it's not like super cutthroat to get a pen, I would definitely recommend Jim's shop. So this entire case is all Jim's handmade pen shop. Um, I will go through them really quickly. You can see I have filled this case. I'm on to the back um, little bungee set. So let's just go through these quickly. If there's any pen that you want to see a little bit more in detail from this particular shop, um, just let me know and I can send you a picture on Instagram or something. So I have some cocoon blanks. These right here are all cocoon. Um, he seems to stock a pretty good variety of cocoon um, blanks, which I enjoy. And then I love this one. I'll just pull out a few that are some favorites. I love this one. I have some Flower Girls. This is another favorite in my collection. I think this would probably be also in the top five. I hope I've only given you guys five. I've probably given you 10 saying that they're in the top five, but this one is definitely a favorite. Uh, I love this one as well. Beautiful. I have a bunch of hybrids from Jim. This was one of my first like Christmassy type pens that I purchased. This one has rainbow mesh, which is super fun. We have the different metallic flakes, which is beautiful. It's a good neutral pen. Uh, I have some wooden pens. This one's really fun. This one's a good like beachy pen as well. I feel like it's ocean and then you have like beach wood type pieces in there. I have some more hybrids. These ones are fun, I like the strips. We have an opal hybrid. This one is super pretty as well. It has, I don't know if you guys can see, but it has little like star shapes in there. Really pretty. Um, I have some of these. I love Jim's shop for like the, I don't know what you call this style pen, but like there's color and then like a different type of center. I don't know what you would call that. So like this one is blue and red and then white in the middle. I just think that that's so cool. And then I have this type of Halloween-y one. This one's super cool. I think this one glows in the dark, if I remember correctly. And then I just have, I don't know, I have a lot of, I have a lot of pens. This one is really pretty for um, beachy mermaid type kits. I use this one on salt water from Distracted by Diamonds and I loved it. It had like that little hint of red for like Ariel's hair and then the water. I love these stacked ones. These ones are super cool. Uh, and then we have some of these really beautiful glitters. These pens were so popular um, in the early days of <laughs> diamond painting. And then I have some like seasonal pens. So this is another favorite with the fall leaves. I love how it looks um, on the wood, if you guys can see that. Uh, we have snowflakes and Christmas trees. Like this is what I mean by, if you're looking for a certain type of pen, uh, Jim's shop probably has them. Some Christmas glitter. And then I have some Halloween themed ones. So this one has bats. It's freaking bats. If you know, you know. <laughs> and then I think this one I purchased this past Halloween. I just liked the, the orange with the black pieces in there. So that is case number six, which is Jim's Handmade Pen Shop. Let me grab the other cases and I will close out this video. All right, six cases, we've been through all of them. I have no idea how I'm going to do a thumbnail for this video. Maybe I just won't have a picture. I don't know how I can make that happen, but I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my pen stash. I feel like I have a pretty eclectic collection. I have a lot of specific type of pens for specific kits, which isn't always the best, <laughs> but I do love matching my kit to my pen or my pen to my kit, 
whatever. Um, I'm very matchy matchy with accessories, which I'm sure you've seen as we've done this series of videos this week. Uh, there is a reason I have so many trays to so many pens to so many minders. I just like everything to match. It's just an added layer of fun to me with this hobby. Um, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this week. It's been a lot to film. I actually filmed every video this weekend. So it's been a lot of filming for me. I'm ready to take a little bit of a little bit of a break. Um, let me know which video in this series was your favorite. Uh, again, if you have any questions about anything we talked about this week, whether it be from the first video, which was my storage to this video, which was pens. Um, I hope that you guys took this for what it truly meant. Uh, again, it wasn't me trying to brag about the collections that I have. It was just me sharing things with like-minded people who enjoy similar things. So any questions that you may have, leave them down in the comments or shoot me a DM over on Instagram. And I will see you all soon. Bye.